The third and last model to analyze financial statement ratios is Piotrowski's F-score. Piotrowski F-score model predicts companies with low price-to-book value ratios and high F-scores have returns that outperform the overall market benchmark. We'll study price-to-book value ratios in the next section, but first we must understand the F-score so that we can combine it later on. For a full reference, Joseph Piotrowski value investing the use of historical financial statement information to separate winners from losers in the Journal of Accounting Research from January 20, 2002 is a recommended reading. There you can find uh, Piotrowski's paper in which describes uh, the F-score and uh, how it's calculated. So basically it is the sum of nine questions. So what are these questions? From one to four they are related to profitability. In question one, if the return on assets of current period is positive, the score is one, if not at a zero. So basically it's a one zero score in all the questions from one to nine. In question two, if the cash flow from operations of current period is positive, the score is one, if not at zero. In question three, if the return on assets of current period is greater than the one in the last period, we score one, if not zero. In question four, a ca if cash flow return on assets of current period is greater than return on assets, then uh, of current period again, then we score one, if not zero. The next three questions are related to funding. Question five is that if Gearing, which is debt to assets of current period, is greater than last period, we score zero, if not one, meaning that less gearing is better. Question six, if current ratio of current period is higher than last period, we score one, if not zero. In question seven, if diluted shares outstanding of current period are greater than last period, we score zero, if not one. Again, this is the opposite as we've been doing and it tells us that if there are more outstanding shares then we score zero if not we score one and the last two questions are related to efficiency in question eight if gross profit margin of current period is larger than last period we score one if not zero and finally if total in question nine if total asset turnover of current period is larger than last period we score one if not we score zero Finally, we'll get an, a score by adding the zeros and ones, and if it is from zero to three, it's considered a low score. If it is a seven, eight, or nine, it's a high score, and if it's a four, five, or six, then we have an average score in Piotrowski's F-score terms. So let's go back to our practical example and calculate Apple's F-score. So we click on the Excel icon and we go into Apple's F-score. As we know, the data sources for all these calculations are the ones described in the section overview. So I won't go into them in too detail. They are calculated for over three consecutive years. So let's start with question one. So if return on assets is positive, then we score one L0. This is done with Excel's built-in function F. Then we do the logical test, which is return on assets ratio, which is found on the profitability analysis tab, is greater than zero, meaning if it is positive, then we have a score of one, else we have a score of zero. So where is the ROA return on assets found in the profitability analysis tab? Right over here. Then we have the cash flow from operations, if cash flow from operations is positive, we score one L zero. Cash flow from operations is found in the cash flow statement tab. Right here, it's the cash generated in operating activities. So again, let's measure the change in ROA, return on assets, and we compare current ROA against last period's ROA. That's why we have column B and column C. Uh, if current is greater than last periods, then we score one L0. We already saw where this is, so we want 
switch tabs. Then we have the quality of earnings or accrual, the question four, which compares the cash flow of return on assets, the CFROA, with the simple ROA. And if uh, this one is larger, then we score one, else we score zero. So uh, the CFROA is found uh, again in the profitability analysis tab right over here. Then we go into the funding questions, and first is the gearing question, which, uh, which tells us that if current gearing, this is step to assets ratio, is smaller than the one in the last period, we score one, if not zero. This both of these are found in the solvency analysis, right over here, step to assets ratio to measure gearing. Then the change in working capital, which basically tells us that if current ratio of current period is greater than the one in the last period, we score one, if not zero. This is part of our liquidity analysis, and we go into the tab, and then we look at the one from current period and last period right over there. Then we have the change in shares in issue. We are comparing outstanding shares, and if the outstanding shares in the current period are smaller than the ones in the last period, then we have a, we score one. If not, we score zero. Both of these are found again in the income statement right over here. It's our diluted shares outstanding, and we compare them. Then we go into the efficiency part, which tells us that uh, first we, change, we look at the change in gross profit margin. If it's greater in this period against the last period, we score one. If not, we score zero. This is found in the profitability analysis right over here. We have our gross profit margin compared against last periods. And then we have the change in total asset turnover, which uh, if total asset turnover of current period is Great, is greater, larger than the one in the last period, we score one, if not zero. Both of these are found in our investment analysis tab right here, our total asset turnover. So, after doing all of these calculations, our nine questions for the profitability, funding, and efficiency sections, what we do is we sum all of them. We can either do it manually or for a lot of numbers. We use the built-in function in Excel sum from all of these numbers. And we get the result that it's 5 for both 2014, 13, and 6 for 2012. So in terms of Piotrowski F-score, we see that it has an, an, an average score.